Welcome back to the GameSpot bonus stage at E3. Uh, day two, we're drawing to a close. Uh, but we do have a surprise guest, Ho Sung Pak, who you may recognize if you take a good look at him. He was Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. So have you been to E3 before? Uh, wow, many, many years ago, been to yeah. E3. Um, but it had, it's been a long time, and I love the energy of this place. So you were in the original, your, your image was in the original Mortal Kombat? Yes, uh, Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Uh, from Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2. Which was now, how long ago? Wow, 20, it's been 20 years. 20 I think, years. I think we just did a, a documentary, or did, somebody just did it. Yeah, your so company did it. We did, yeah, we, yeah. Came, we came out of Chicago and, yeah. and talked to you guys for 20 years. I, I can't believe how time flies by. I mean, it's been like that. So, since, since Mortal Kombat, what have you been doing? Uh, films, mostly. Uh, I want to get back into the video game industry, yeah. the video game world, but mostly films, uh, TV, uh, has been my world so far. Yeah, which movies have you been in? Um, well, I did a uh, film with Jackie Chan called Let Their Drunk the Master. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you're okay with that. Um, some TV shows, uh, gosh, Alias, uh, Angel, some other films. Um, oh, you're an angel. I just, oh. Yeah, I just did a film um, that came out from Lionsgate, a low budget film, independent film, called Fist of the Warrior. Okay. Um, where I play one of the lead characters. Cool little film. Uh, you can still get it at Netflix or other yeah. avenues like that. So, did you come out? So, I mean, on our booth right now, I think. Uh, if you're on GameSpot, you can you can see this. We're promoting it on the homepage. But right now, we ha we have a professional Mortal Kombat tournament going on right That's next amazing. door. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna take you over there in a little while and see if the guys that are playing as your character recognize you. And if they're doing a good job playing the game, right? yeah. Sure. Um, but did you ever think that it would it would it would go the way that it did? And the no, when we first did the Mortal Kombat video game, it was really like a small game, uh, like. Game between two big games that uh, they had, so they didn't expect much of it. But I think as soon as uh, people started playing it and they saw the reaction to it, it just you know it just got out of control. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was a complete accident. And you ever imagine that one day you'd be sat in LA and people would be playing? I mean, the, I mean the professional gamers who train yes. on. The, what, 10th version of the game, the not 9th version of the game. It's amazing. You know, you would think when you do sequels, you would do maybe three or four, possibly, yeah. Yeah. if you're lucky. But the mere fact that they're on number 9, 10, that's it's just amazing. And I mean, the fighting game scene, I mean, I mean, it was strong by then, but I mean, it's such a tight-knit community now. And like, and Mortal Kombat had been gone for a while. It was all about Street Fighter. It was a, but... Mortal Kombat is making real inroads into the into the competitive gaming scene. So that's, yeah, to me that's even if 20 years ago it was popular then, and the people I think maybe that enjoyed it 20 years ago, maybe they're refining the love for it now. Yeah. Um, so you know, hopefully it keeps going for them. Yeah. You know, it'll be a franchise that lives on for a long, long time. So you at E3 just to check stuff out, or yeah, yeah. Um, your uh, your co-worker Brian yeah. uh, invited me here, so I thought I'd just take a look and see what's going on in the gaming world. And plus, I want to kind of get back in the gaming world. By, um, what, do you, what kind of stuff do you want to do? Uh, simple games, more app games, more games that have to do with not. I don't want. I don't actually like it so complex. Like Mortal Kombat's complex. There's a yeah. lot of buttons to be pressing. So some, some simple games, some easy games, something where it's semi mindless. Where you're playing on your tablets or on your phones. Yeah. yeah. It, it, do, you, do, you, do you still play stuff? Um, not so much video games. Um, you know, I still like, believe it or not, I still like Tetras. Simple, easy. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, simple and easy. Yeah. Um, so games more like that. Um, I know my nieces and nephews, they play some other type of video games. Uh, you know, those connect things that you yeah. play along. Uh, are very cool. Keeps you in shape if you, uh, you know, take it seriously. Yeah. Uh, so those, those type of games and some simple games is what I'm kind of looking into. Uh, and we'll see if, um, if that world has something to offer where well, we can do something together. Fantastic. So have you had a chance to look around, seen anything that you like to look up? It's amazing. The, the stuff that Xbox, Nintendo, and PlayStation, the things that they have, yeah. the games, and there's so many games. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, right? And this is just half of it. Have you been to the other hall as well? I haven't been to the other side yet. So, uh, but, you know, back when we first did Mortal Kombat, there were a lot of games, but there weren't that many games. Right. Now, you're just inundated with amazing games. Yeah. The graphics, uh, the gameplay, and, uh, and how people get into it, the world of whatever game that they choose. It, to me, it's just incredible. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for coming on last minute yeah, and yeah. stepping on. Thanks for having me. So it was a pleasure to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. We will be back in a couple of minutes. We're going to do our final wrap of the show. All the guys that were here yesterday, all the, the senior editors from GameSpot will be here to talk about how their day went. Uh, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes.